All right, good afternoon, core class. Ready for lesson five. Lesson five is intensity. Here we go, let's bow into class. Chariot, bow to the flags. Kuke Kinye, let's do our student creed. Be honest. Be honest. Always, stand justice. Always stand for justice. Respect and help each other. Be loyal and courteous. Be loyal and courteous. All right, chariot. All right, how's everybody doing today? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to be in push-up position. All right, we're going to fall forward in our push-up position. Ready? Shia! All right. Everybody, we're going to hold our push-up tonight. We're holding our push-up tonight. So that means we're right in the middle. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. You don't have to count back yes, sir. Just count back the number. We're going to 10. Okay, nice strong push-up. Straight body. Ready? Butts down. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Awesome. Let's stand up. Hands behind your back. We're going to hold our squat. Make sure you keep a nice straight back. Don't throw your head forward. Throw your butt out. Okay, nice straight back. Bend your knees and hold. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Good job. Halfway there. Now we're going to lay down for our dish. Feet out straight. Six inches off the ground. Don't put your hands under your butt. Keep them down by your side. Feet together. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Good job. Everybody, let's bridge up. Okay, we're going to make a nice strong bridge. And what we're going to do is we're making a bridge and we're going to extend one leg. Once we hit five, we switch legs. Push those belts up. One, One two, two, three, three four. four Five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Okay. Oop, let's switch legs. We're going to do the other one. Ready? Eleven, Eleven twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen fourteen, 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 fifteen, fifteen sixteen, 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 seventeen, seventeen eighteen, 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 nineteen, nineteen, nineteen and twenty. Good job. All right. Grab a pad. What we want to practice tonight is we're practicing intensity. Now, when you're doing your intensity, that's when we're doing our breaking. So when we get ready to punch, or if we're getting ready to kick, are we quiet? Are we yelling out our power? Okay, we're not holding in like we're holding in a sneeze, a, a square L. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we are yelling out with intensity. Ah! As loud as you can, showing everybody your power. When we get ready to break our board, we do our front kick. Yeah, big yeah, big power. You don't hold it in. This is when you're practicing to letting out your power. Just like, for example, a gun or, the example, a quarterback throws the football. He's not ready to throw a football down the length of the field. Does he throw the ball weak? No, as hard as he can. Well, one thing that happens, if you hold in your gi up, that stops the release of your power. So you're actually hurting yourself from making a good break. So I want you to be focused and I want you to be loud. Even if you're at your house, practice at your house, okay? Make sure you're loud with your gi-ups. All right, everybody go get water, come back on the mat. Parents, when the student comes back, let's have their, something that they're using for their kicking. If you're using a throw pillow, if you're using a pillow, something that they're using as a target, they need to come back to their training area with their target. All right, everybody go get, go get some water, come back with your targets. All right. Okay. So our parents are going to hold our pads or our targets, okay? What we do is we keep our hands on the targets with our arms extended out. Not with our arms bent, that accordions and it comes inside. So we want to hold the target out. So if we have a brother or sister helping out too, make sure they're holding the ends, okay? So Alex is going to hold the pad for me. We're going to play a game called Get It Better, Getting Better with Every Rep. Now, a rep means a repetition, means each time you do it. For example, if Master Ron says 10, you have a, a reps of 10. That means you're going to do it 10 times. When I say a set, that means how, how many times you're going to do that. Let's go get the door while I talk. 
So what you want to make sure is that you are going to get better with every rep. So each time you punch, we're going to do 10 punches, but each punch you're going to get louder and louder and louder. You can just unlock it. Okay. So come on back, Alex. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do 10 punches and you're going to get louder with each rep. You're going to alternate hands. Each time, that means use your right and your left, but each time you punch, you're gonna get up louder and louder and louder. So by the time that you're on 10, you're the loudest you can be. Okay, Al, ready? So 10 times getting louder. Ready? Parents, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna count out each one. Ready? One, punch. Oh. Two, no sir. Okay, so he was helping out. We're alternating arms. Right arm, left arm. Each time you punch, you get louder. Yep. Each time you punch, you get louder and louder. All right, Alex is gonna show us how loud he's gonna get. Ready? One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, uh, six, uh, seven, uh, eight, uh, nine, uh, ten. Uh, All right, good job. Now, how loud were you? How loud were you? You're gonna do that 10, you're gonna do 10 reps for a set of three. That means you're gonna do it three times, okay? You're alternating arms, right and left. By number 10, you should be the loudest you can be. Now, when you do your gee up, you're not yelling from your throat, ah! No, that's not a gee up. It's coming from right here, inside the middle of your body, your core. That's what you're letting out. That's what your power is. Not from your throat, but from your core. Does everybody understand that? Okay. Here's our section when we can hit pause. Go through this drill, do three sets for a count of 10. All right, have a sip of water and come back for your second part of your training. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, now for our next one, what we're gonna be doing is getting better with each rep. So this one is gonna be the same thing, but now what we're gonna do is we're going to do it with kicking. Now, when we do a kick, even though we're showing it with intensity, we're not just kicking slow kicks and just touching the pads or touching the target at home. You're doing real front kicks, okay? Using the top of your foot, snapping with big power but also at that same part, right when you're making contact, that's when you make your gee ups. Sometimes in core class, we'll go, yep, and then kick. You missed it. Right when you kick, right when you break your board, that's when you let your power out. And that's what you need to practice right now, is that when your foot makes contact, yep, that's when you gee up. Okay, not before, eh, or not, after, right when your foot makes contact. We're gonna do 10 front kicks, alternating legs with a big gee up. But each time your foot makes contact with the pad, that's when you make your gee up. All right, let's watch Alex. Ready, one. Uh. Now his other foot, two, three, uh. four, uh. five, uh. six, uh. seven, Eight, nine, ten, just like that. Okay, so get in the habit. So every time you kick, you gee up. Every time you punch, you gee up. Every single time you let out your power. Okay, this is your special power. This is your energy. You don't waste it, but you use it at the correct time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 front kicks, alternating legs, with a big gee up every time the foot makes contact to the target. Not before, not after, right on contact, okay? We're gonna do that for three sets, so that means you're gonna do it three times, 10 times each, okay? And that's how we're gonna do our set for our kicking for intensity, all right? Okay, here's our section when we get to hit pause, do your drill, and then come back to your training area. And then we're gonna continue with our test. Okay, ready, set, go.
Okay, parents, our portion of our test right now is our, for intensity is when we do our breaking, okay? So a lot of our students don't have practice breaking boards at home, and that is okay. We're just looking for our students to practice their intensity on their target, whatever target that they're using, a throw pillow, stuffed animal, something that they're using to kick, okay? Punch. So what we want to do is we want to go over our beginner students. They're doing their strikes or they're doing their breaks with their hands. They're doing their palm heel strike. They're doing their hammer fist. They're doing their elbow strikes, okay? We want to make sure just like a, a, somebody who's practicing at a target range and shooting a target that they are using the correct focus and intensity and in making contact with their practice board or their practice uh, target. So for example, if Alexander was going to do palm heel strike, parents, this is when we hold that top corner and they touch right at the top, palm heel strike. Okay, now if they're coming for that the same way, if they're coming for their hammer fist, it's down like a table, making that hammer fist. Now, if they're coming and they're doing their elbow strike, my arms go out straight just like a punch and Alex comes through with his elbow straight forward, making contact right in the middle. So we want to make sure that they're not all over their target. They're always attacking. So the only one that we're at the top is palm heel strike for our white belts. Everybody else is in the middle. Okay, now we move over to the intermediate level. This is when they're doing their front kick. All right, this is the one we want them to take a practice. This is for our green belts where they're doing the front kick with the bottom of their foot, with the bottom of their foot. So the ball of their foot is hitting the middle of the board, not the top, not the corner, right in the middle. So let them practice on their target, on their target with their front kick. Okay, so they're using the bottom of the foot. I don't want them using the top just yet. I want them using the bottom. Okay, then we've got our sidekick. We've got our sidekick for our purple. They're doing their sidekick, all right? And then the roundhouse kick for our blue belts. Now, the way that we hold the roundhouse kick is it's at an angle like this. So it's not pointing straight at my student, okay? And it's not pointing straight sideways, but we put it at an angle like this. So their top of their foot is coming up and touching the pad. Okay, that's the part. Not their shin bone, not their knee. The top of the foot is making contact, okay? We want to make sure that they're making that snapping motion with their foot, okay? Now we get into our brown, red, and our red black belts. They're doing their front kick, side kick, side kick, turning side kick, and then the uh, red, red black belts are doing front kick, side kick, turning side kick as a combo, okay? So we want them kicking the targets and teaching themselves to use their foot, use their power and their intensity on their break. So this is something that we can practice at home, okay? All right, so parents, our testing sheets are in the PDF section of our Facebook group. They're also on our website underneath documents and they're also in the curriculum. So you'll have it find it twice. Okay, so this way you'll have your hands on our curriculum all the time. So for their testing sheets, pull out their testing sheet, look for their belt color. Now remember, they should be testing for their belt color that they're doing this week after they do their testing. All right, so if they're moving up from green, they're turning to purple. Purple to blue, brown to red, so far so on. Okay, all right. So everybody, we're going to finish tonight with a game. Smile on the dot. Okay, this game is called Jungle. Okay, so the way that jungle works is that you're running as fast as you can through the jungle. Now, while you're running through the jungle, if you see a branch coming your way, what are you going to do? You're going to duck. All right, you're going to continue running. Uh-oh, you're running by the river. There's a crocodile humps out, hops out, tries to uh, bite your feet. What do you do? Jump. Okay, you're back to running. Okay, all of a sudden, a pack of monkeys follow you. So you turn into a monkey, and you start doing monkey crawls. Back and sideways, monkey crawls. All right, you keep running. Back to running again. Now, all of a sudden, a, a pride of lions come out. All right, and what do we do when you see the lions? You make a roar. Show me your roar, Alex. Roar. Louder. Roar. Louder. Roar. Loud as you can. Okay, and you're back to running. Back to running. Okay, then you see a bear. Here comes a bear. Lay down flat. Pretend like you're dead. All right. Okay, the bear went moved. Keep going. Back to running. Lastly, you're running. You're almost out of the jungle. There's a pack of cheetahs, so you run as fast as you can. And you got through. Okay. So I'm gonna call out. I'm gonna call out what's happening in the jungle. You do it with us. Ready, Al? Ready, set, go. And you're running. Branch, duck. Good job. Keep running. Faster. Crocodiles. And jump. Keep running. Ready, monkeys. Uh-oh, there's the monkeys. Keep running. All right, lions. Roar. Oh, bears. Cheetahs. Run as fast as you can. And you made it. Good job. 
All right, back in the middle. Stay in the middle right there. All right, one more time. <laughs> Ready? Go. Start running. Crocodiles. Lions. Roar. Monkeys. Branch. Crocodiles. Cheetahs. Bears. Crocodiles. Cheetahs. And time. You made it out. All right. Good job. All right, everybody. Great job tonight with your training. Okay, good job with your intensity. All right, practice your breaks at home. So when you come back to Pride, you're going to be breaking those practice boards. You know exactly what to do. Okay? All right, everybody keep up the good job. We miss you. We can't wait to see you, but I want to see everybody training hard. All right, let's bow out of class. Face the flags. Jarrett. Kuke Kinye. All right, turn. If your parents are there, face your parents. Jarrett Kinye. All right, great job, core class. Keep up the good work. Good job.